Hi, I'm Adrian, a cybersecurity SE with Full Proxy here in the UK. This how-to video follows on from my demo of the data safe feature of F5's Advanced WAF. Firstly, let's recap how DataSafe instantly secures website login credentials as you type them on your PC. Like us all, our mutual friend Jane spends a lot of her time online and thinks her data is completely safe and encrypted owing to the tier less secure padlock she sees in her browser. However, as shown in part one, without FI's data safe solution in place, her valuable credentials can be easily stolen if her PC has already been compromised by a hacker. As soon as DataSafe is used to encrypt the credentials in real time as they are typed, our hacker friend trying to conduct nefarious activity will be bitterly disappointed. Donald, our F5 expert, over to you. Okay, let's configure some anti-fraud protection. Go to security, data protection, data safe profiles, and create a new profile. First, we need to give it an appropriate name. Let's go with something like anti-fraud profile 1. It's worth noting that we're also using a default parent profile anti-fraud as you can see below the profile name. Okay, next we need to add an explicit URL path that we're going to protect. Let me grab it from the demo page. We've got slash login.php now we need to tell the F5 what parameters to protect. We'll add username first. I'm not going to encrypt the username for this demo, I'm just adding it for login purposes. We are, however, going to protect the password parameter, and on this occasion I'm going to encrypt and substitute the values. You also need to ensure that the application layer protection is enabled, as you can see from the green tick. Again, just for demo purposes, I'm going to add a simple response code based on successful login 200 OK. Now all that's left to do is to add the profile to the virtual server. If you'd like to see this profile in action, please just take a look at the DataSafe Part 1 video. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Donald. So that's it for our Data Save Part 1 and Part 2 uh, YouTube videos. Please like, subscribe and comment. If you need any further information on web application security, please email us at the address below.